My name is Marina Alex. I came from Moscow, from Russia, but I was born in Soviet Union. Do you, is it okay? Could you help us? Oh my God! Oh no, no. <laughs> I think you should help us with the microphone. Yep. Fine? Are you sure? Let's ask about uh, that our customers. Okay. Let's. Would you like to continue like that? No. No. Always, we take always feedback from our customers, right? They don't know how to help us, sorry. Maybe we should... Okay. I will try to continue and we will adapt, right? Maybe should I stay here somewhere? Maybe it will be better. What do you think? Now it's better, right? Okay. And I was born in Soviet Union. Who knows this country? Yep. And every Friday we watched Indian movies. It was very popular. And it was, you know, it was so surprised that people always smiling, always dancing, and they it's like Zita and Gita. And they always were with beautiful color um, clothes. And I couldn't even imagine that one day I will come to India and I will even share my experience. And I'm very happy today. Um, my story about saving life with Agile. Um, I am Agile expert in sales, but one day I will, you know, every five minutes, every two minutes, I will take feedback from noise, okay? Because for me it's very important that it, it is comf comfortable for you here and, and interesting, okay? And one day, the business owner of one big medical group, about 40 clinics inside, invited me as an Agile coach to help them with Agile transformation. And it was dentistics clinics. And I told him, no, because I don't know about medicine anything. And from childhood, I, I was afraid of dentists. But he told me, Marina, are you an Agile sales expert? And I told him, yes. And he t asked me, you, we need your help because our sales targets, it's like 40% in our clinics. And we need to be survive. We need to change something. We would like to change structure, culture of our 40 clinics. And OK, I say OK, uh, I agreed. But when we start, as Agile coaches, when we start to help any companies, we should understand title of business. That's why I start explore medicine, dentist, and I, spent, I um, visit more than 20 different clinics, and I found interesting things that medicine don't care about mar marketing, about service, quality of service at all. And it was interesting because in business we have another situation. And usually when uh, I apply Agile in sales team, I always take the worst uh, team with worst sales um, performance. And in this case we did the same. We took the worst clinic from 40 clinics. And look, this is real pictures. It was my coaching room during six months. I worked here and I had agile co um, uh, coaching session in this room. And this is, oh, no, yep, no, what's happened? No, yes. Um, this is, was our starting. Our clinic was the, wor the worst one, 46% sales performance. Very huge, uh, um, okay, it was 30, um, 35 people inside and eight managers, images, imagine please, eight managers and only um, several doctors. And the second problem, it was communication between doctors, between assistants, between um, managers, because it, um, it was like small different countries in one small clinics. 
The second problem was they didn't care about um, clients, about uh, um, customers, about passion, patients. They care about money only. They didn't help to each other. They didn't share their experience. And it was really awful situation. And we start. Hmm. We start from applying Scrum, because usually I apply Scrum, and we created cross-functional teams, we adapt backlog, we had all um, meetings from Scrum, and we created uh, three roles, team, uh, product owner, and Scrum masters. What does it mean cross-functional team in, uh, in medicine? Uh, imagine that we created three teams, about 20, uh, 12 people inside, and in one team we had head of doctors, for example, and security, and even security. It was, uh, in other team, it was assistants, doctors, and person who were, were cleaning, uh, who were uh, cleaner of these clinics. And it means that we, first, our step was change structure because you could actually it's about my it's a mindset for changing mindset we need to use special tools and we need to change structure of company because in other way it, it will not work and we change it and it was eight managers and people now we get three teams three scrum masters and just one product owner Um, I would like to tell you about um, our backlog. In non-IT cases, we haven't product. We have services, we have sales, and it means we, that we adapt our backlog. Our backlog, backlog um, has had two, um, two parts. The first one is about targets. It's about money, it's about something that you could measure very easy. For example, how many new clients come, uh, it's our goals. It means the first part is goals for money, for some numbers. But Agile, it's about culture, it, it, it is culture. For changing culture, we need to improve our way of work. We need to improve our communication. We need to involve different new process and something like that. That's why in our any backlogs we have second part about um, innovations, about customers' experience, about feedback, about how our customers are happy and something like that. Oh my God. So. Once again, yeah. We had one week sprints. In the, uh, each team had planning session in, on Monday, for example. Every day they had daily stand-ups and asking each other free questions. They had visualization. They had demo. What is demo in non-IT teams? It's demonstration of result. For example, today our demo. And all company come to see um, what our team created or achieved. Demo is demonstration, everything what happened with our teams. And the last one, I think the most important, it's retrospective. Retrospective, uh, suddenly retrospective is the first thing which company um, cancel after leaving Agile coaches. But retrospective, it's the most important for improving and for changing the culture and um, business process or and about in everything. This is, was our um, way. And you know, before I worked, I, I worked more than five years as an agile sales coach and we applied the same process and we triple our sales during next three or four months. In this case, after one month of applying uh, Scrum, we had the first results. Attention. No. Uh, 
Um, this is our first result. Our worst clinics, like losers, start worse. We dropped from 43% to targets to 20. And all clinics, uh, all people in this clinic, they were very upset. Because before they didn't um, believe in Agile. Nobody applied Agile in medicine before. That's why we had some sabotage, we had a lot of conflicts about that. And nobody believed, even in other clinics, they thought that it's big mistakes to try Agile in medicine. And imagine uh, people who start do something another way and start worst. And we decided to create one common retrospective. We invite all three teams and start to speak what's happened, why it's happened. And we found three, uh, the, uh, several uh, prob problems. The first one, uh, they, they, it started like competitors between teams. They start steal uh, uh, clients. They start um, be like you know small free countries in the same uh, in one country. It was awful. They didn't care about um, customers. They start care just about money. And the interesting situation, medicine assistants. It's like you know it's like. Uh, low cost in medicine. Nobody speak with them, nobody involve them in some seriously process and they wasn't involved in uh, Agile transformation. And after that, uh, people realized that they need, they need to change something. And we found <coughs> next results. Uh, this is really backlog. Uh, who knows Russian will uh, read it. <laughs> and um, we, sales increased from 20% to 64. It was our first, um, um, how to say it, we were very happy about that. And doctors start scale, uh, doctors start caring about um, quality of service. They start share information with each other. They uh, change financial motivation with, um, of medicine assistants. And people start speak with each other because every week they had one hour retrospective. They start trust to each other. And, but after that, everything stopped. You know, um, it's very difficult to change our habits. It's even, uh, it's a, a very difficult to change our way of thinking. Um, uh, it's very difficult to change, um, to take responsibility for your decisions. That's why, in this case, they just afraid to change something else because they are afraid that it will be worse than it was before. And the most important thing that we hadn't leader who will believe in agile transformation. You know, I believe that for any success agile transformation, we need agile coaches, but we need leaders inside in, in company because employees, they believe not agile coach from uh, outside, right? They believe people who really worked in this company. That's why, oh, oh my God. One morning I came to this clinic and found the business owner who invited me. And I thought that this is my last day in this clinic. And I asked him, why, uh, why you come to this clinic? Why did you come? And he answered, uh, Marina, I believe in Agile. I know that we need Agile, transform in Agile transformation in, ho in whole 40 clinics. That's why I will come to survive situation. And he invited all people in one room, 45 people, and asked, who believe in Agile transformation? And not just say believe, who are going to pay from his salary for Agile coaching? And 60% say, yes, I believe I'm going to pay some percent from my salary. But 40% said, no, I don't believe it. I don't care about that. And I don't uh, want to um, spend my own money. And after that, 
he came on the uh, middle of the room and said very strong speech that he believe he will do everything for success and if somebody don't believe and don't want to change himself goodbye and it was very seriously speech with uh, passion and all people understand that they have leader not just manager who believe and they start believe and after that all people involved it was you know this is really this is um, daily stand up it's really picture and um, after that all people start care about customers after that even security you know Russian securities they usually very very seriously they do nothing they just sitting um, near the door and this is our Russian security but in this case it was agile security he was involved he realized that uh, they have one main goal in this clinic and he invite people he try to help them he ask what kind of TV they want to watch well he tried to play with the children because they were scaring a dentist and customers clients they when they come they start feel something different in this clinic this is um, about happy of our customers and they start um, okay I forgot what I want to, to tell you and after that uh, uh, I, I remember in 40 clinics they had not marketing department at all because medicine is the last um, part of business who care about marketing but they need because now uh, world ch is changed we uh, um, for example I, I have interesting story I'm uh, 35 years old and I have a sister she is 21 and I ask her how are you look if you decided to go, uh, to find a very good doctor how are you going and she told me Instagram Facebook Google for example me never I call to my parents I call to my friends I will ask uh, uh, phone of good doctors you see we have different ways and in this case this small uh, clinics decided explain the to executive that they need very good uh, marketing department and they need uh, um, budget for marketing and they ask a little money and take short iteration like one week and decided to show them difference and they decided create Instagram this is their oh this is their Instagram they really thought they really think that if they every day will share their um, great um, examples of their work their followers will be very happy but then in one retrospective they decided to ask uh, followers do you like our Instagram give us some feedback and they were surprised because people told them sorry it's awful I don't want to see it in my Instagram every day and they changed and this is their Instagram they start ask feedback from followers they start uh, have different interesting beautiful pictures but very um, which help people with some advice and something like that and people start love it but in the same time this uh, just doctors they start have fun from creating uh, this Instagram all clinic was in, uh, were in, involved and the main problem in medicine it's um, to find good doctors and to keep them before agile about four good doctors per month uh, left these clinics because they didn't like it and, uh, and something like that but <coughs> after agile it's you know it starts like one big family and uh, we didn't lose our doctors and they start happy and imagine when you come to clinic and you invite and you meet happy doctors happy security and it doesn't matter which uh, is it medicine or I don't know uh, some shop and they realized the main idea that the world changed and 
we, um, the clients don't want to be just patents. They won't be, uh, uh, they won't have a good service. They found that, um, ah, an interesting story that uh, some doctors were, um, we had some sabotage in the beginning and they didn't believe in and they didn't attend Agile Transformation. And after several months, they come to us and say, I believe, I won't involve, I won't be it in, in the team. Because if you have sabotage in uh, your company, you, should, you shouldn't push them. You should give them time to believe and to come. And they start improve their work because uh, doctors afraid new, um, uh, new way of working because it's about mistakes, right? That's why it's difficult to, uh, to, in, uh, to give some innovation in uh, medicine. And they start to visit in other clinics. They start find some good way of working and in, in, uh, involved it in their clinic. And retrospectives, it's usually about um, improving. And this clinic, during five months, apply more than two, 400 innovative uh, ideas in their work. Because cross-functional teams, um, self-organizing team, it's about ideas from down to up. Not when you have just one managers who, manager who create, create some innovations. That's why this is our future in whole companies. And um, And when Agile come to company, companies, uh, they start trust to each other. They start be very openly to each other. They start speak. And in this case, in one, it was one retrospective, uh, common retrospective, and doctors start speak about their mistakes. For example, if we have in business mistakes, in sa uh, uh, sales mi mistakes, we could improve it and it's okay. But in medicine, mistakes, it's about life, it's about health. And they start speak, and it was, they start speak about numbers of mistakes and found a great mistake in whole process. Um, young doctors from university who come to this clinic, they had a lot of mistakes because they just afraid to ask advice. And they just put out teeth, not, and put, um, um, how to say it, implantant, implantant, because they, don't, they didn't want to uh, ask help. And they start, um, they, they had, okay, they took five years and found how many mistakes these clinics created by themselves. And I, I was crying. People were crying because it's not um, 100. It's more. I will not tell you how much, but it was really, it, it wasn't a um, problem of the people. It was a problem of the system. And after that, the, doctor, the doctors with good experience decided to share the, uh, this experience. They start uh, teach young doctors. They start, uh, they created different education, something like that, and if doctor did not know how to help um, clients, he just could ask, and another doctor just could help. And this is um, the, main, um, um, the main idea of Agile in medicine. It's not only about um, team. It's not only about happiness of uh, people or customers. It's about lives. And like a bonus, Agile, it's about money. Because if you apply Agile um, in Agile mindset, in sales, in marketing, in medicine, you always have the same situation. For example, this, it, it, you remember that it was the worst clinic and after five months it started um, the best one clinic from 40 clinics and not only uh, because they 
had 100% uh, uh, of sales uh, performance. They start, the first one, uh, about new clients, because all people try to be in these clinics, because it's attitude, they feel it. And another clinic start uh, come to this clinic and uh, teach Agile and in other tools. And for success, Agile transformation, we need a success story in our clinic, uh, in our uh, any business. Because people believe, not when you tell about Facebook, Google, something like that. They believe when they really have uh, success, um, pilot team uh, or story in their own business. And I think the best agile leaders, they become from the first pilot teams because they, it was really, to be the first one, it's very difficult for people. And then they teach in other clinics and they involve and they share, they support them. Oh, oh again. Oh my God. This presentation one that you see it several times, thousand, I think. And and there uh, we had different um, agile transformation in medicine, in sales, and after that we created a um, framework especially for non-IT uh, teams. And uh, we call it Sway, sales with agile. Uh, here we have adapt backlog, we have different roles. I will tell you, um, if you want, you, you, you can come and I will tell you more about that. And we have Canvas. And a couple um, things about Canvas. This clinic, 35 people inside. And it's very important that all people, security or, or head of this clinic, realized what the main goal they have, what the main idea they, uh, they have, why they need this Agile transformation. And Canvas, in this case, helped them to be, uh, to understand everything what they need to achieve. And in this slide, I uh, put all steps of any Agile transformation for you. You could make a, a photo for, um, for you, because any Agile transformation has some steps. The first step, we, we create a pilot team because we need to have our own success. The second um, step, we should find which tool will help uh, to change the mindset. Is it Scrum, is it Sway, is it Kanban or whatever. Um, the next step, it's uh, support our team because during first months, it's very difficult for people, especially uh, in uh, uh, pilot team. And when you have first success, you should show the success all uh, employees in all company. And in this case, we created um, like show. What does it mean? We had uh, 40 clinics and I as an agile coach had a um, clear goal that we need uh, to, uh, to change all 40 clinics. And we took this pilot team, we put um, camera uh, everywhere and in other clinics they could see what's happened in this clinic in demo, in uh, planning, but not in retrospective because, because retrospective it's uh, about deep, uh, uh, deep um, communication. And um, I had, I, um, sometimes I see some mistakes when people change something in small department but nobody know why what and all uh, I have a lot of cases when all people in company think that agile is just for IT but not agile it's mindset uh, it's our habits it's our attitude to our clients customers and to each other it's about happiness and the most important thing that it it was the same people five months ago and now but five months ago they were losers after five months ago, they start success. What does it mean? It means that the system could change our people. But if you uh, change the system, if you change the, the, the way of working, people uh, give you another result. And 
Agile works in sales. Agile works in medicine. Agile, it's mindset. It's a mindset which, when you care about your customers, when you think every day what kind of value you are going to give your customers, when you openly, when you trust to each other, and when you're happy in your job. And this is my story. Uh, if you have any questions, I, I would love to answer. I hope you like this story. and. The main idea is that it doesn't matter, medicine, sales, marketing, uh, I don't know, education, it's a way of changing and we need to change ourselves and our business. Thank you. Thank you. So Marina, I think it's a fantastic uh, presentation, primarily because this is not from IT. I work with United Health Group, which is one of the largest healthcare providers in the US. And uh, it was very interesting to see that something like this could be also implemented in the non-IT side of the world. I, I, I was able to relate to the stand-up calls that happened in <coughs> clinics because we own clinics and hospitals also. I was able to relate to the organizational uh, breakdown that you said that uh, reducing the number of, uh, uh, increasing the number of employees and reducing the number of managerial part there. And, uh, but if you can reflect a little bit more on uh, what, what was the product owner role? Who was the product owner and mm -hmm. who was the scrum master? Mm -hmm. um, the product owner was uh, head of clinic. She has had three clinics, like a curator, I don't know how in, in English. And she, uh, in, okay, product owner in um, non-IT team, it's person who uh, say what kind of uh, numbers they should achieve. It's about vision what should they do, but clinic decided how. And this is main difference because they have own a good budget. Now all clinics have own budget and they have some freedom. And Scrum Masters, um, you have two ways uh, how to find great Scrum Masters. The first one, just ask, <coughs> what, uh, who want to be a Scrum Master? The first one, in this case, they afraid everything because it's medicine. They, you know, they like um, army. Just uh, you, you will be scrum master from Monday. Yes, sir. And we ask. We um, it was um, some from team. And okay, um, totally. We tell them you have five days and just give us name of your scrum masters. They decided themselves. We had three teams, and. I support uh, Scrum Masters because it, for them it's uh, new roles. And the best thing uh, if you give freedom to uh, choose themselves. And but product owner is um, some person who could make decisions, who could um, um, say yes, we will spend this budget or not. Thank you. Can you also give me an example of a backlog? Yeah. Um, for example, the first part about numbers. Um, I don't know, one million do dollars for three, three months. This is our main goal, for example, right? The second one, for example, um, 50 new uh, clients per week or per, I don't know, months. Then in this case, they had um, some numbers about um, Implantants, how many implant, because uh, they had some uh, medicine and something uh, like that. And the second part, it's about feedback. It's about customer development, customer discovery. It's about uh, how our customers are happy. And uh, this is another uh, part. This is about Instagram. It was because they, the main uh, goal, one week they had main goal uh, to know how happy our customers now from one to ten and they called them they asked and it was interviews thank you mm -hmm. okay any other questions okay. just one question from me uh, <coughs> hi i'm prabhaka uh, it's very interesting to see agile in sales um, and agile in medicine, you know, both are extremes in my view. 
Um, so what I would like to understand is when someone is starting their transformations, the first thing in the IT, what we tell them is don't increase your target. If possible, reduce your target because teams need time to you know set up and stuff like that. So how do you see that in the non-IT world? Could you repeat? I didn't catch you. Uh, the targets, yep. the teams would have some targets to meet. Right? Sales people, right? The sales Wait. people, yeah. Okay. So when they're actually getting onto an agile way of transformations, should they be expected to meet the target in the very beginning itself? Do you see that happening? If I understand correctly, but I'm not sure, um, so uh, this is the easiest way to apply agile to sales because it's always about increasing targets. And um, this is the way how to sell agile transformation in whole company. And Sometimes IT people ask me, Marina, how we could sell, um, this is metaphor, sell agile transformation to our sales people because we are agile, our sales people are not. And I always say, invite them on retrospective, invite them to, to demo, show them what you are doing. And after that they will involve and they in, uh, apply agile in their um, company. I think part of the conversation, sorry, part of the question was, do the targets always go up or yeah. do you expect them to go down? In the, ah, sorry, yes, thank you so much. In the beginning, I tell, uh, I, I, um, I, okay, I apply Agile in sales more than 170 teams in different business areas. And always, the first two months, it's always go down because it's a new way of uh, working. They need to spend energy time for a new way. That's why it's, it is always, and this is a time when they need your support. Yes, thank you so yeah, much. Right. Now, just within five months, you seem to have uh, achieved significant benefits. Now, how long has it been after those five months? And then how are you sustaining that beyond those five months? Curious to know that. Um, after, um, during one year, they um, increased 127 totally for one year. And um, I, uh, did I answer it for you or not? I'm not sure that I... How are you? Yeah. So how are you sustaining beyond that? That is an uh, important question. I think t I need to translate. From, <laughs> <laughs> from the end of that one year to today, uh, what has happened? How is it growing? How is it staying the same? Um, they are still go growing, but uh, their executive, they increase their plans. That's why now they're just uh, about 100% for months. I mean, we will not have grow like that. Of course, no. It will be like that, but every day they will, they will try to achieve more and bo more because they're involved. Um, Jagannesh from Delight, actually. Nice to meet you. Um, my one question is, I, I saw your backlogs, uh, how do you track and all that. Um, so did you use any uh, tools, like charting tools, uh, in your daily scrum to track, right? Uh, for example, we use burn down charts, burn up charts, etc. like mm. that. Any <laughs> charting tools did you use? Uh, in sales, uh, and in this case, we don't use uh, board chart because our, we see numbers. This is our um, main things because we have exactly, for example, uh, $1,000 per week and we achieve it or not. This is our main um, type of how we measure it, that. So, so last question. Can I get more details around this project? Yeah. Where can I find that in terms of how this um, is Yes, um, I will give you um, uh, I will tell you a link and you could find me in LinkedIn. I have two great articles about Agile in Sales and in, in Agile in me Medicine uh, with a very beautiful, clear English. <laughs> Welcome to my LinkedIn. Uh, hi, Marina. Thank you for the wonderful presentation here. My question is around, you spoke about the mindset change and especially when you have eight managers and people reporting to them and it's always like, yes, boss, whatever you say. How do you make them turn around? Any special technique that you can share? Um, yes, of course. Um, there are three things. The first one is coaching. Um, individual coaching, coaching uh, scrum masters. 
um, <coughs> the first one. The second one, it's um, uh, retrospective. The best thing, it's retrospective. But if uh, our retrospective will be boring, yes, it, it will not work. A retrospective should be as a working tool. Um, you have more than 100 or 200 different types of retrospective. It depends what happened inside in this uh, team. For example, we have black market uh, marker. When all people, during one hour, nobody say anything, just writing. And different, different types, uh, it depends what, um, what do you need to achieve with, uh, with this team. But um, this hour for changing mindset, and of course, uh, in other uh, communication between um, people inside of team. You need good agile coach or scrum master who will, um, who will believe in their success and help them. The one question. I will take it. Okay. 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 Um, when you're trying to change like a small companies, especially high tech or software development, it's not that complicated to sell the idea of Scrum or Agile or anything like that. Now, companies out of IT, it might be a little bit more complicated. I mean, companies like this one, like this size, how can you sell the idea in order to change the whole company? Because as a leadership like team, it's a little bit risky to say, let's change everything and see what happens. Uh, I have exactly a way how I do it. Um, I have cases, 3,000 uh, people inside and, and more. Um, the first pilot, it's your success story, it's your numbers. When you show executive numbers, they start belief and then create plan of agile transformation. It's, you should not do everything in one day. It will be house, uh, it will be um, awful situation. Step by step. But I love to start Agile Transformation from sales because sales department communicate with all departments. And if you change sales, you change whole organization in the same time. Thank you so much. Thank you.